Hey guys, how's it going? BCHD here. I'm back with another video after two long weeks. I'm finally back with a video after I've been sick for a bit. I'm back. This video was supposed to come out so long ago and now I'm finally out with it. It's the Italy Under-19 Euro Finalist video. We're going to put them into FIFA 18 Karimo. We put them with Barty in SETI B to see if they can get promoted and stay in SETI R for a season or two and see how the under-19 Euro Italy finalists grow and uh, develop in this career mode as we simulate along the seasons. We've got all the young under-19 players from the team into FIFA and the ones that we couldn't add into FIFA we've added a few extra players that um, are under 19 and can qualify for this team as we start off with Capone from Pescara there 18 years of age left winger we move on to the main man of the team Moise Keen, 17 years of age he is the main man in real life he did score a double in the final and was one of the top goal scorers of the tournament and got them back into the game after Italy were losing 2-0 he got them back to bring it extra time and he made it 2-2 two as we move on to Antonucci our right winger uh, he can play left wing as well but he's going to play right wing for our team here Antonucci there got very decent stats all in the yellows 18 years of age as we move on to the center of our midfield. It's uh, Tonali there, 65 rated CDM from Brescia in Serie B, 17 years of age in the game, can, can play centre mid as well, four star weak foot has been compared to Andrea Pirlo, the one and only, so he has a bright future ahead of him, did have a very decent tournament as well, getting a few uh, good performances and assists as we move on to our centre attacking midfielder, uh, Caligara, 17 years of age, can play centre mid and both on the flanks as well, got very decent stats, yellows and oranges, a lot of room for improvement for all of these players as we move Move on to Maggiore, 66 rated, a central midfielder here. Didn't play in the team, but um, he's 19 years of age, so he does, can qualify for this under-19 Italy Euro squad. Didn't play in real life as we move on to Pellegrini, our left back here, 62 rated. Um, he has got a lot of uh, room to grow, 18 years of age, one of the only left backs, the young left backs Italy have. As we move on to one of Italy's most famous positions, the centre back position. Um, as you know, Italy are famous for their defensive style of play and all the famous defenders we've produced. And Bastoni could be one of them. 66 rated centre back, I believe he's from Inter, but he's on loan at Atalanta, I'm pretty sure. As we move on to Vania, uh, he is a centre back, 70 rated, one of the best players in this team from Cittadella, from Serie B. He's 19 years of age. He didn't play in the under 19 Euro. Though, so we've added him into this squad. He is 19 in FIFA, so he qualifies for this Italy under-19 team. He's got a five-star weak foot for some reason. I have no idea, but apparently his weak foot is so good. Uh, and we have to have, do have Gabbia here from AC Milan, the Milan youth prospect, another um, young centre-back that we have playing a right-back here. He is the captain for this team, 17 years of age. Uh, can only play centre-back, but I've put him at right-back because there's not really many young Italian right-backs that can qualify for this team. As you can see there, a lot of room to grow. He's only 61 right as we move on to the goalkeeper from Ternana, I believe. Um, he is uh, he did play in Serie B a bit last season. Plizzari, 65 rated goalkeeper. Um, and I believe he's on loan from AC Milan, I'm pretty sure. But he's a, another young goalkeeper like Donnarumma, 17 years of age. And he is he did play for Ternana this season. So be interesting to see who he plays for next season. And see if he can get some game time but he did have a good tournament as we move on to the bench we do have Melagoni sent another center mid uh, 63 rated Vignato from Chievo Verona 61 rated there as we move on to two strikers Scamacca and uh, Tuminello there Scamacca did score in the final he scored a header an extra time to make it 3-3 um, so he's a bit decent uh, he's from Cremonese on loan I um, believe from Inter so there you can see 18 years of age striker six foot five so he did score a header in the final as well so he looks to be like a target man uh can be come off the bench and make an impact 18 years of age there you go power header target forward traits he looks like a very young decent attacking striker from Italy that can do bits in Serie B. 
We do move on to Tuminello here, the Primavera prospect for Roma. I believe he was on loan at Crotone or something. We move on to the Fiorentina young goalkeeper, uh, Cero Follini. Um, he didn't go to the under-19 Euros, but he's another young goalkeeper from Italy. So he gets a place in the squad, even though he's 48 rated. A young star rate so highly. Brignola, 18 years of age, played for Benevento last season in Serie A. Uh, got a few goals to his name as well. And uh, has moved to Sassuolo this summer. Actually, he's got a lot of really good stats. Some uh, light green stats there as well. And acceleration, balance. And he showed some really, really good form the, the current season that just passed. And has earned himself a move to Sassuolo. Fratesi, another Sassuolo player there. Central midfielder, 63 rated. We move on to some substitutes here. As you've got Pinamonti on the bench. Massimo, Pierini and Viva Viviani. Um, as you can see there, Pinamonti, a striker from Inter, young striker who's recently moved to my team, Frosinone, in Serie A on loan. So we move on to the right midfielder, 62 rated uh, Massimo Pierini in there, another backup left winger and a backup CDM, 58 rated Viviani, who's got some decent potential, 16 years of age. So we've decided to put him in there, see how he grows in the next few seasons for Bari in Serie B and maybe in Serie A if they get promoted. But that is the under 19. Euro squad for Italy. Let's see how they do. Five star week for, for Massimo. So let's see if the 16 year old can produce on the big stage here for Bari and Pinamonti there, 18 years of age. A decent young player. Let's see how this team does in Serie B. Let's see how they grow as we've moved on to the end of the season, May 2018. Let's see how they did in the league. We move on to the ladder. As you can see here, Bardi, our under-19 Italian finalist, finish 11th, winning 12 games, drawing 16 and losing 14. Ended up with 52 points in Serie B, uh, missing out on promotion there or even getting into the promotion playoffs, but it's a good foundation to start off with Frosinone and Cremonese to get promoted there easily. Empoli, Carpi, Salerno, uh, Palermo, Perugia and Novara go into the playoff finals as we finish in mid-table 11th. Pretty much smack bang in the middle of the table. Um, a solid start of the season considering our team is so young. So we're going to move on to the squad hub to see how the under-19 Italians did get on. As you can see, Alessandro Plitari there, the goalkeeper. We move on to one of our best performers here, Brignola. 30, uh, 28 games, 7 goals and 1 assist. So Brignola showing some form in real life, translating it into uh, FIFA 18. He had a very solid season, growing for overall there. So as we move on to Giulio Maggiore, the central mid fielder 68 rated now grew two overall played 24 games got two goals and two assists so decent stats for these young players in Serie B as we move on to Marco Vania a player that was probably one of our best players one of our best center backs from Cittadella grew three overall played 22 games got a goal to his name as well as we move on to Christian Capone 69 rated grew four overall in the season played 22 games got some decent game time under his belt got a few goals got a few assists so um, decent uh, stats for these youngsters as we move on to the next Pirlo Tonali Sandro Tonali got 21 games one goal and one assist for the CDM so uh, showing that they can grow a bit with some decent game time Antonucci a right winger um, grew four overall, 68 rated now, 19 games, four goals and one assist, so decent stats for Bari here. As we move on to Alessandro Plizzari, did play 16 games, uh, got a few clean sheets under his belt as well. Bastoni, our young Italian centre-back, did play 16 games, didn't get as many goals. Moise Keen there, uh, thought he would do better in his first season in Serie B, only grew, grew one overall, only played 13 games surprisingly, and only had one goal and one assist. So a lot of room to improve here for this young Italian under-19 team to see if they can push for promotion next season as we fast forward through the squad hub. If you want to go over a player, pause it, go over them because we are moving on into the second season of this team and it looks like we've made the playoff finals. So let's have a look to see if this young Italian under-19 team 
Um, our Barty, let's see if they uh, have made it. They've clearly made it to the final, I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look to see how we did in the season. And it's Udinese and Empoli. Two teams got getting uh, relegated and going back to Serie A there. We end up finishing in third, 12 points behind Empoli. So very deserved from Udinese and Empoli get automatic promotion. And it's us taking on Pescara, Hellas Verona, Carpi, Palermo and Spezia to get promotion and get that third promotion spot. Let's see how we did in the playoff finals. And it looks like Bardi clinched promotion. Bardi's promotion dreams have come to fruition as they have newborn, uh, have, as they have now been confirmed to complete, compete next year in Serie A. So it's promotion for the young under-19 Italians. Let's see how they grew this season and how they performed. They did end up finishing third in the playoff final. We beat Verona 2-1 on both legs, so 4-2 on aggregate. We beat Hellas Verona. So very good signs to see that uh, Bardi, this young Italian team, are developing nicely. As you can see, the squad there, a lot of form going up, which is always good to see as we move on to Plizzati, our main goalkeeper, getting 46 games there, getting 13 clean sheets. That is a lot of clean sheets for the 19-year-old. 46 games as well, so he played most of the season. Grew to a 73 rated. Great growth there from the youngster. Gabbia there, growing a few to a 65, getting uh, 15 games in there. Bastoni and Vani are both getting injured, but they both had 34 games and 41 games respectively, both getting a goal each, which is good to see. Vani up to a 75, which is always good to see. We've got our first uh, 75 rated player, Luca Pellegri, 68 rated now. Our left back, 17 games, one goal, so decent season from him. Tonali there getting 44 games and 6 goals, which is very decent from uh, the next Pirlo. As uh, Viviani did get 10 games in there. Massimo did get 12 games and 1 goal. Maggiore did get injured. So we did get a lot of uh, end-of-season injuries, which showed after we played a lot of uh, playoff games. We played 4 extra games in the season. So a lot of players needed to be used in this team. And it's lucky we got a lot of depth. Uh, Maggiore did get, end up getting injured, up to a 71 rated, did get an assist in 28 games. As we move on to Caligara there, 23 games, 4 goals and 2 assists, did grow to a 69 rated, um, did have a very decent season there in central attacking midfielder. As we move on to Fratesi from uh, Sassuolo, did get 10 games and a goal, Melagioni did get 11 games and a goal, so um, decent from these players here. As we move on to Enrico Brignola, uh, 37 games and 8 goals. So very decent from the man from Benevento, now Sassuolo in real life. Uh, did show very good form, up to a 69 rated, 19 years of age. And wow, what a season from the man. Vignato there getting 4 games and Moise Keane finally steps up in his second year in Serie B. Moise Keane going to a 74 rated, slow growth, but he did show a lot of good signs. 31 games, 14 goals, 3 assists, so very good stats there, yet to grow uh, a bit more. So let's see how he does in Serie A next season. Pinamonti, the new Frosinone man, gets 6, goal, uh, six games and 2 goals, so decent from him. Skamaka didn't quite replicate that, only getting 5 games, no goals and no assists. And uh, we move on to Capone, the man from Pescara. No, we move on to Antonucci. 39 games and 15 goals and 6 assists. Probably one of our best performances this season. Growing up to a 71, Mirko Antonucci playing at right wing, 20 years of age in Serie B. That is a very, very decent season. And of course, we're not selling any of, the, any of these players to any big Serie A clubs that are going to come after them. As we move on to Christian Capone from Pescara, 72 rated, grew to that, 6 goals and 6 assists in 35 games. So, another big contributor to Bari and our promotion to Serie A, but it's our third season and it's going to be the season in Serie A. Can this young Italian under-19 team stay alive in the top division of Italian football? We're going to have a look. We're at the end of the third season, May 2020. We finished our games. And let's have a look to see how we did. And Bari end up surviving. The young Italians end up surviving. It's Spal Frosinone and Chievo Verona 
going down to Serie B again as Empoli, Benevento, Bari all beat the drop there. As you can see, we got the magical 40 points. It's uh, 40 points usually guarantees that you stay up in the first division. 10, 10 wins, 10 draws and 18 losses. That's actually not a bad season for a very, very young team in our first season and in Serie A. And they haven't even grown to their full potentials yet. We're going to have a look to see how they did in Serie A. All the stats. Let's see how they grew. It's Alessandro Plizzari growing a few to a 76 39 games, 8 clean sheets, less than last season, but it's decent for his first season in Serie A. Vania grew to a 77, 40 games, uh, a lot for him. As we move on to Matteo Gabbia, 16 games, no goals, no assists, but we move on to Bastoni, another injury he gets at the end of the season. 22 games, as you can see, he fit in there. Luca Pellegrini, 70 rated, our left back there gets 39 in there. So, very, very decent season from, from him. Tonali gets 36 games in there, a goal and two assists to show for it. 74 rated, a decent player he's showing into now. Mattia Viviani also getting a few games in there. It's uh, Roberto Massimo getting injured there, but it's Giulio Maggiore growing to a 74 rated. 30 games, 11 goals and 5 assists. What a season from the central midfielder. Had an absolute breakout year there. 11 goals and 5 assists from a C CM is absolutely amazing. Fabrizio Cagliara couldn't replicate that. Only got 1 assist in 30 games. Frate Fratesi got, only got 13 games. As well as Melegoni got 12 games. But he did have a goal to show for it. Enrico Brignola, his second season in Serie A. 29 games, 2 goals and 3 assists. Which is very decent. Gr grows to a 72 rated. Vignato also there getting 10 games one goal and two assists to show for it moist Keane, our main man 77 rated 32 games a lot of game time but only got eight goals and three assists which is a decent showing both in Serie A and the Coppa Italia so very decent from our main man up top Scamacca only getting three games in Serie A not better, with no goals or no assists to show for it. So not really living up to his potential there. As we move on to Pinamonti, two games, grew to a 71 rated. Didn't get that much game time, but we move on to the main man, Antonucci. Uh, gr grows to a 73, 15 games and six, uh, six goals. So decent from him. Capone had a decent season as well. 23 games, five goals and grew to a 74 rated. As we move on to Nicholas Pierini, the 21-year-old grew to a 70 rated so i hope you guys did enjoy the italy under 19 special video my apologies is what it was meant to come out when they did lose the under 19 final but i did i did end up being sick and couldn't make it until now so i hope you guys do understand do enjoy make sure to smack a like on the video follow me on twitter subscribe down below for more fifa 18 career mode videos hopefully you guys do enjoy and i'll catch you guys on the very next video.